Welcome, my name is Al Tahad. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director here at Clear Dot Charter School, and I wanted to introduce you to the Bat Report. Here we're gonna go over, uh, you know, state of the, the program. Um, this is gonna be our first pilot episode, and we'll cover uh, the growth of the program, the growth of the children, the new coaches in the program, our scheduling, our history, and a little bit of uh, of the culture we're trying to instill here at Clear Dot. Um, this is going, we're going on our third year as a program. Um, I think we're moving in the right direction. A lot of people, when we first started, um, had a lot of doubts as to who we were and what we were doing. Um, an interesting story uh, behind it all. Um, things don't ha they happen by, 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 by the grace of God. They don't happen by, by ha happenstance or just by luck or just by, you know, showing up, you know. Um, give you a brief breakdown. Uh, the program was started um, by Tim Manning, who was the athletic director when we first started here. Um, and he brought in Coach Z. Um, who's our head football coach, uh, Zeb Folks, um, and he, he brought him in because of his success at, at Creighton Middle. Uh, won seven championships uh, there at Creighton Middle, worked with Tim Manning there, um, and decided that he wanted to start a football program here for the kids at Clear Dot. Um, obviously, Coach Z was his first choice. He had worked with him. Coach Z had expressed to him that it was, uh, it was his it, interest also to not just start football, but to start baseball because his son Elijah played baseball. I happened to be on the lucky uh, end of that. I was actually Elijah's baseball coach at the time for the, the Carolina Black Sox. And uh, the, the environment that we coached there and how we did what we did with the Black Sox translated beautifully to what we do here at, uh, at Clear Dock. Um, but none of this would be possible, obviously, without um, the leadership of Tim Manning at the time. Um, but me and, uh, and, and Coach Z um, have kind of run with it a little bit. You know, we got put in a situation where we needed to, there was no athletic director for a while and we needed to step up and make things happen for the kids. Um, not the easiest task, uh, I would say that. Um, but when you get to know our kids, any task is worth it because it's for them. Um, and and they, they bust their butts. They don't have every opportunity everybody has out there. Um, so we came here to change, change culture, change life. There was no program here. Um, which is the interesting part that we came in here there was a uh, four walls and some and some chairs we didn't have <laughs> footballs we didn't have anything um we wanted to obviously start with football being the first sport it was a tough transition because we didn't get hired till the middle of july um first game being i want to say our first game that first year was probably august 20th or 28th or something along those lines but to come in with no <laughs> It's tough to explain and it's hard to explain and eventually, you know, um, hopefully through this, through the bat reports, you'll understand a little bit more about what we're doing. But we started with a water bottle as our football. We had uh, <laughs> 25 of the worst helmets that Rydell could provide any school in the country. Um, would have rather taken some hand-me-downs, to be honest with you. Um, with the grace of God, though, we didn't have any, any concussions that first year, which is a big deal. That was our big fear. Um, but we started our program in the parking lot with a water bottle and four kids and five helmets and, and, and built it into our third year. Um, this year, we, we were taking on the likes of, uh, of Colleton County, again, that we played last year. AC Flora, who's a perennial powerhouse in football in our area, um, not to mention we're still in, in negotiations to get another JV game with Dutch Fork. Dutch Fork we played last year. Um, don't need to say much about Dutch Fork. Their history speaks for themselves. Uh, uh, coach Knox is, a, is, a, is an amazing coach, a great individual, and he's given us opportunity. And he's, he's given us encouragement through, through playing them. Um, give you a little history um, as, to, as to the school. The school is in its fourth year of existence. We're in our third year of athletics. Um, we've grown uh, with school, uh, but athletics has driven, in my opinion, um, has driven school spirit has built a culture here that, that uh, I can remember back um, specifically uh, and it, for the locals here. I was at Mai Tai in Lexington, in West Columbia, having lunch. And I got a call from Coach Z and I stepped outside. And I remember Coach Z saying, hey, we're doing something big. I need you to be all in. And I took it to heart. I took it to heart and you know, me and Coach Z, we go 100, maybe 110 all the time. And sometimes when you're going 110 and the other person's going 110, sometimes you collide, you bump into each other. But the main goal is to, 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 to be there for the kids. And I think that we've established the culture um, and it's taken all the, all the three years that we've been here, but we've established the culture that we work harder than everybody else. 
we do more with less. We don't have the facilities that other places have. Um, we, we don't have home field for any sport. Um, the only sport that we've had a, a home field sort of was it was for basketball and that that was introduced last year um and they, they, you know the kids have, have taken basketball and run and we can see the advantages of having facilities and having a home field but in baseball we just had this year was our first year we had a practice facility that we could consistently go to that was 60 90 in the past we've been working out of patches of grass let's get into football football <laughs> What Coach Z's done in the past three years in football is amazing. Um, to know that uh, we started our first year, we had three footballs. We lost one the first week. So it put us down to two footballs. We had some, some cones and we had Drew Wellness Center. Anybody that is familiar with Columbia and Columbia sports and the history of Columbia knows Drew Wellness. Uh, we played on the patch of grass in the back to the day. We practiced there every day. And I think that at the beginning, we didn't see the blessing that that, that, that brought um, but it, it has. Um, we, 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 we participate in a community uh, in a, at a community center. So the community sees us there at seven o'clock in the morning on the, on this, in the weekends, uh, working hard with these kids. You know, um, it's awesome to see senior citizens stop and ask what, what, what team are you guys working with? What program is this? Mm -hmm.